Today we're making healthy ginger snap cookies. I don't know about you, but I love ginger snaps and I love the, the ginger part and the molasses that's in um, ginger snaps. The other thing I like is they're not overly sweet. So here's how we make them, our healthy version. We're using coconut sugar instead of regular sugar. We have two thirds of a cup of sugar. And we have a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. So it's been warmed, it's liquid. And now we're putting it in here again. And then, and then we have, um, we're gonna mix all the ingredients together. It's not some dry ingredients and wet. So we have two cups of gluten-free flour. I usually use um, Bob's Red Mill. It's really consistent and you can substitute it one for one in almost any recipe that requires flour. Okay, then we have two teaspoons of cinnamon and two teaspoons of ginger and one teaspoon of baking soda. Makes it rise just a little. And then a quarter of a cup of molasses. Molasses is loaded with minerals. I know. The little gingerbread man. And we also have to add one egg. I always practice to make sure I get the egg out whole. I mean the yolk out. And then we have our milk, two thirds of a cup of milk. I'm using almond milk here. And our dry ingredients was these two cups of flour. Nothing fancy about like that. And now we just stir it all up. And when we have it finished, like a lot of good recipes with really hot cookies, we're going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour. I don't know why, but it makes such a big difference in how the cookies turn out. If you just, if you didn't chill them for an hour, the cookies just don't, they don't lay right in the pan. So, all right. So they're about ready to go in the refrigerator. And we'll see you when the, when the refrigerator is part now. An hour has passed. And our cookie dough has been in the refrigerator, and now we're going to get ready to put it on the on to bake it. So it's quite simple. We're just going to take one and a half inch balls, clean hands, of course. So an inch and a half in diameter, basically like that. We're going to we have a mixture of two thirds cup coconut sugar or one third cup coconut coconut sugar and one teaspoon. I put a little more, close to a tablespoon of cinnamon. So we have a cinnamon sugar base. And then we're gonna roll our cookie in it. And we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna flatten it out. Oh man, those are gonna be good. Okay, repeat. One and a half inch balls. Roll in the sugar. Actually, I'm gonna do a row of them and then flatten them all at the same time. Until I spent a lot of time making cookies in my childhood. Wow, they came out just right. They didn't spread too much. And I can't wait until one is cool enough that I can actually see if they're if they taste as good as they look. You know, one of the things I like about ginger snaps is they're not too sweet. It's, they're not loaded with sugar. They have even molasses in them, which is a sweetener, but it's not its not as sweet as um, regular sugar. And molasses has a lot of minerals in it, so it's actually quite healthy for us. If you're anemic, having a tablespoon of, all of uh, molasses in the morning is really good to build up your blood supply. That's my little trivia. Okay, is it warm enough or cool enough to eat? If you'd like a copy of this recipe, just scroll to the end of the video and we'll have it all there for you to print out. Thanks so much for watching.